So, now we are moving to the another question that is question number 103. So, question number 103 is on your screen. So, which of the following statement given below is incorrect? So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, if you see this all statement, so first one is an anhydrase of perchloric acid, yes that is a correct statement. So, here they ask you incorrect, okay. So, first mark it incorrect. So, this is a correct statement, okay. True. O3 molecule is bad, that is true. ONF is isoelectronic with NO2 N minus, yes, that is also a true. If you do the total electronic count, you will get this answer. Now, OF2 is an oxide of fluorine. No, this is a false statement. Now, why? Because see, in this oxygen and fluorine, fluorine is more electronegative if you compare with oxygen. So, it is not an oxide of fluorine rather than it is a fluoride of oxygen. Okay, it is called as fluoride of oxygen. This is not an oxide of fluorine, this is a fluorine of oxygen. Why? Because F is more electronegative if you compare with oxygen. So, this basically known as oxygen difluoride, okay, the name oxygen difluoride. And option number 4 is the correct answer of your question number 103. So, question number 104 is on the screen. In the reaction with ACL that is hydrochloric acid, an alkene reacts in accordance with the Markonitz of rule to give a product 1 chloro 1 methyl cyclohexane. The possible reaction alkene is. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, this question is basically come from the hydrocarbon chapter of your class 11 NCERT. So, now if you see 104 they told about the Markonitz rule. So, what this Markonitz rule said? It said that that electron rich species attached on that side where less number of hydrogen attached. Now, if you see they give you the 1 chloro 1 methyl cyclohexane. So, what is the structure of this that is 1 chloro 1 methyl cyclohexane. Okay. So, this is the product we are obtaining. So, we have to find out the reactant from where. So, now if you see the option number 1, if I am removing this double bond, so here see here 1, 2, 3, 4. So, no hydrogen will be there, here 2 hydrogen. So, obviously your chlorine will go and attach with this part. So, what you get? You are obtaining like this Cl and your CH3. So, maybe this is the option. Now, see the option number 2. If you see here 1, 2, 3, 4, here no hydrogen is there and here 1 hydrogen is there. So, what will happen? Your Cl will go and attach to it this position. So, what you are obtaining here? You are obtaining here as CH3 Cl. Okay. So, this option we are getting. So, this is also may be correct. If you see in this one, your hydrogen, your chlorine will go attached here. So, what you are end up here? You are end up here as 2 chloro, but in product we required 1 chloro. So, this option number 4 we can neglect it out because this is not the product. Now, if you see in option number 3, here see no hydrogen, here 1, here 2 hydrogen will be there. Okay. So, definitely sorry, if you see here, here no hydrogen is there. And if you see here, here 2 hydrogen will be there. So, electron rich species that is your chlorine compound will be go and attach with this position. So, what you are obtaining? You are obtaining like this, this is. And if you see in this also, if your chlorine will go and attach with this position, so you are end up with this types of compound. 
So, you can see in option number 3 both give you the product. So, option number 3 is the correct answer of your question number 104. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 105. So, question number 105 is on your screen. So, 2 T dimethyl 2 butene can be prepared by heating which of the following compounds with a strong acid. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, here I will show you how you can solve in a very minimal time. Okay. So, if you see 2 3 dimethyl first draw the structure 2 3 dimethyl right and this is butene. So, here C H 3 here C H 3 C H 3 and C H 3. So, this is the structure of your 2 3 dimethyl 2 butene means in the parent chain how many carbon should be there 4 carbons 1 2 3 4. Now, if you see the first one in the parent carbon, if I am writing here like C H 3, C H 3, C H, C H, C H, C H 3, C H double bond C H 2. So, if I am taking this is the so first let us see this is the reactant is possible or not. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here the parent self itself a contain a 5 carbon. So, this is not the answer because we require 4 carbons. Now, if you see the option number 2, if you hear C, C and C H 3 here, C H 3 here and C H 3 here and here C H double bond C H 2. Now, if you see the parent chain 1, 2, 3, 4. So, each contain a 4 carbon. So, this is the reactant we are going to use. Now, if you see the option number 3 also here C H 3 C C H 3 double bond C H C H 2 C H 3. Now, count the parent carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 carbon. So, 5 carbon is not possible. So, option number 3 also we can neglect it out. Here also if you see 1, 2, 3, 4 and this CH3, CH3 will be CH3 here, another CH3 will be here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, here also the 5 carbon will be there which is not our, our product. So, what is the left it out? We have to left it out only one option that is option number 2 and this is the correct answer of your question number 105. So, now I have give you the solution how it will be come this product. Okay. So, let us see and just remove all that. So, we got the answer is option number 2. Okay, Option number 2. So, let us take this option number 2 that is CH3, CH3. 3 CH 3 CH double bond CH 2. Now, first is react with H plus will be their acid. So, what will happen? This bond will be break here. Here, this minus sign will be generated, and here positive sign will be generated, and this minus will take out this proton. So, what you are getting here, you are getting CH 3 CH 3 CH 3 CH. C H 3 and here is positive. Now, if you see this is the secondary carbocation. Now, if I am remove transfer this group to here. So, here again positive sign will be there and this positive is a tertiary carbocation and we know tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary than your primary. So, that is why we have to do a 1 to methyl shift. Okay. Methyl shift. So, after shifting what you are obtaining here this CH3, C, CH3, here is you getting positive charge and CH, CH3 and here also we are getting CH3. Now, what you do? You just remove one hydrogen H plus. So, what you are getting here? See, if I am remove this one. if this CH3 will be there and if I am removing this H plus what you are obtaining here CH3 C H3 and here is the positive 
we have to remove that is reduction take place and CH3, CH3 and CH3. So, see this is the product of 2, 3 dimethyl 2 butene, but in examination no required to solve whole part. If you know how to solve it in the previous part I already showed they just calculate the parent chain carbon atoms. Here 5 carbon is there, so not possible, here 5 carbon is there, not possible, here also 5 carbon is not possible. Only in option number 2, 4 carbons is there and in answer also they are mentioning that product should contain 4 carbons. So, option number 2 is the correct answer of your question number 105. So, 106 is on your screen. The following reaction, they given this reaction and they ask you what is the name of this reaction. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, this question is come from the nitrogen containing compound, nitrogen containing compound of your class 12 NCERT. Okay. So, now see this is your nothing but this is your aniline and this is amide and when this react with benzoyl and this process is known as benzoylation. Okay. So, if you see option number 4 that is Scott and Baumann reaction. So, this reaction is nothing but this is a Scott and Baumann reaction. So, how it will be formed that this lone pair will be attack on this position and it will be move on this side. So, what you are getting? You are getting like this kinds of product N H H here this positive sign and here double O minus this is the benzene ring and this is your Cl. Now, this bond will be shifted here and this one is moving on that side. So, you are obtaining here as now this one also shifted here. So, you are getting is NHC double bond O. So, see this is the product and that is amide and this is nothing but this is a Scott and Bowman reaction and it is coming from your nitrogen containing compound of your class 12 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 107. So, question number 107 is on your screen. In the extraction of copper from its sulphide ore, the metal is finally obtained by the reduction of cuprous oxide weight. So, this question is come from the metallurgy chapter of your class 12 NCERT. So, now move on to the solution part. So, what will happen here for this extraction of copper from its sulphide that is copper sulphide when it is react with copper oxide it will be give you a copper plus SO2. Okay. So, this is the actual reaction. Obtain. So, what is they asking in the extraction of copper, we have to extract the copper from its sulphide ore, the metal is finally obtained by the reaction of cuprous oxide with, with whom they are react that is your copper 1 sulphide. So, this is nothing but this is your copper 1 sulphide. So, if you see in option number 3 copper 1 sulphide is given and this is the correct answer of your question number 107 and this question is come from metallurgy chapter of your class 12 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 108. So, question number 108 is on your screen. If Avogadro number N A is changed from 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 mole inverse to 6.022 into 10 to the power 20 mole inverse this would change. So, this is the question come from the basic chemistry of your class 11 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, if you see they are told about that Avogadro number they changed. Okay. So, let us see Avogadro number that is N A is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. Okay mole inverse. So, what does it mean basically? See 1 mole of carbon is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecule 
sorry not molecule you can write here as atom is equal to 12 gram of carbon atom ok. So, it means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atom is equal to 12 gram of carbon. Now, 1 atom is equal to 12 divided by 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 gram of carbon ok, gram of carbon. Now, how much they are telling at 6.022 into 10 to the power 20 atom or mole you can write here 12 into 6.022 into 10 to the power 20 divided by 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. So, now if you cancel out this one and you have to left it out as 12 into 12 into 10 to the power this is go to the up. So, minus 23 20 minus minus 23 is give you the minus 3 gram. So, what will happen initially it is 12 gram now it is decreases to 10 12 into 10 to the power minus 3 gram why it will be changed because we are changing the Avogadro numbers. So, if you see in the option option number 2 the mass of 1 mole of carbon will change. So, option number 2 is the correct answer of your 108 answer. So, 109 question number is on your screen the variation of the boiling point of hydrogen halide is the order of they given this order and what explains the higher boiling point of hydrogen fluoride. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, they given this hydrogen fluoride order ok this is given in the decreasing order of your boiling points ok means hydrogen fluoride as the highest boiling point if I am compare with HCl. Now, they ask you why this order will come. Now, this order is come due to the strong hydrogen bonding between the HF ok that is why HF is the highest boiling point. Now, if you see the option number 1 the electronegativity of fluorine is much higher than the other element in the group this is not the reason ok. Now, there is a strong hydrogen bonding so I already told about the due to the strong hydrogen bonding between H and F. So, their boiling point will be higher. So, there is a strong hydrogen bonding between H F molecule. So, option number 2 is the correct answer of your question number 109. So, next we are moving to the another question that is 110. So, question number 110 is on your screen. So, which of the following reaction can be used for the preparation of alkyl halide? So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, if you see alkyl halide, so this is your primary one option you always remember your primary and secondary alcohol, it is react with HCl in presence of anhydrous ZnCl2, it will give your alkyl halide. Okay. for primary and secondary alcohol and for your tertiary alcohol they react with HCl for them there is a no required of anhydrous ZnCl2. So, only with the help of HCl in tertiary alcohol they react and they will give you the alkyl halide. So, now if you see this is your primary alcohol ok this option will be there this is secondary this is also primary alcohol, but with primary alcohol we required anhydrous ZnCl2. So, this is not your good reaction if you see this is 3 and this is your tertiary alcohol and I already tell the tertiary alcohol they do not require anhydrous ZnCl2. So, they just simply react with HCl and they give you the alkyl halide. So, this reaction is also possible this reaction is also possible and now if you see the fourth one the fourth one is your secondary alcohol and for secondary alcohol I told you that HCl with anhydrous ZnCl2 they will give you the alkyl halide means this reaction is also possible. Means option number 1 
option number 3 and option number 4 will give you the alkyl halide. So, now we are moving to see the options whatever they are given. So, if you see here option number 1 where 1, 3 and 4 only they will give you the alkyl halide and this is the correct answer of this question. So, now we are moving to the next question. So, question number 111 is on your screen the name of the complex ion. So, they give this complex and this question is come from the coordination chemistry of your class 12 NCRT. So, now move on to the solution part. So, for this we have to first calculate the oxidation state of this iron. So, how you calculate? So, take it as x plus for cyanide it will minus 1. So, 6 into minus 1 equal to minus 3. So, x minus 6 minus 3 x is equal to end up with plus 3. So, hexacyano ferret 3 should be the answer. So, what is the answer? Hexa, hexa is due to for this coordination number that is 6 hexa cyano that is cyanide and during this reaction you have to write like cyanido and what is this? Ferret. And what is the oxidation state that is plus 3. So, plus 3 and it is present in the ion form. So, is the n you have to write as ion. So, now see the option where this is given hexa cyano iron 3 ion. No, this is not this is because cyanido we required hexa cyano no this is not possible cyanitro is wrong options hexa cyano ferret tri cyano ferret no this is not this is completely wrong. If you see the option number 4 hexa cyanido ferret 3 ion. So, this is the correct answer of your question number 111. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 112. So, question number 112 is on your screen assuming complete ionization same moles of which of the following compounds will require the least amount of acidified KMnO4 for complete oxidation. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, if you see here KMnO4 these are used for oxidation purpose. Now, if you see in the options like all where Fe is there. So, that is sure that Fe plus 2 is converted to Fe plus 3. Okay. So, this is definitely possible okay, because oxidation. Now, if you see the remaining part like for this one SO3 minus is converted into SO4 2 minus for this C2O4 2 minus is converted into CO2 for this NO3 sorry NO2 minus is converted into NO3 minus except your SO4 this is no oxidation taking place. So, if for this KMnO4 is present then they, they are oxidized, but when SO4 is present KMnO4 cannot oxidation or cannot oxidize this SO4. So, if you see in the option number 1 where they are given as ferrous sulphate and this is the correct answer of your question number 112. So, question number 113 is on your screen. In which of the following pairs both the spaces are not isostructural? So, this question is come from your chemical bonding chapter of your class 11 NCRT. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, first we have to find out the hybridization first. For SiCl4 if I am mentioning here uh, for Cl4 4 bond is there and there is a no lone pair. So, this is also an sp3 hybridization. So, if you see this is also a 4 so sp3 hybridization for PCL4 this is also an sp3 hybridization. So, these are isostructural, but in question they ask you the not isostructural. So, this is not the option. Now, diamond and silicon carbide this is also a tetrahedral. So, this is also a isostructural in NH3 and PH3 this is a pyramidal shape it ok pyramidal shape both for NH3 and PH3. So, these are also not an isostructural. So, you have to left it out only here option number 4 and this is the correct answer of your question number 113. 
Now, just check what is the hybridization for x e like x 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 1 2 3 4. So, 4 will be there. So, 4 plus and 2 lone pairs. So, 4 plus 2 that is 4 5 6. So, it should be sp 3 sp 3 d 2. On the other hand x e o 4 if you are taking here oxygen 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 oxygen. So, you have to loan if there is a no lone pairs. So, 4 bone pairs are there if 4 bone pairs is there that is sp 3. So, these two are not isostructural. So, option number 4 is the correct answer of your question number 113. So, now we are moving to our next question that is question number 114. So, 114 is on your screen. Caprolactam is used for the manufacture of. So, this question is come from the polymer chemistry of your class 12 NCERT. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, if you see the caprolactam is basically used for the preparation of nylon 6 and option number 1 is the correct answer of your question number 114. This is a direct question from your polymer part of your class 12 NCERT. So, now we are moving to the next question that is question number 115. So, question number 115 is on your screen. The hybridization involved in the given complex is. So, this question is come from your coordination chemistry of your class 12 NCERT. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, for this we have to first find out the oxidation state of nickel. So, how to find it out? So, here you putting as x and for cyanide it is minus 4 and it is coming as minus 2. So, you are end up with x equal to plus 2. Okay. So, now if you see S C T V crew man Fe, Ko, Ni, Ko, Ja. So, for D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7, D8. So, for nickel it is D8. Okay. So, now, so nickel plus 2 having the configuration of D8. Now, this cyanide is a strong field ligand, right. So, when strong field ligand is present, then pairing take place. Okay. So, let us see first nickel, what is the hybridization of nickel? It will be coming as D8, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, what will happen here? Pairing take place. So, these two are paired with each other. So, what you are getting here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, this is d orbital s and p orbital are here. So, what is the product what is the hybridization you are getting d s p 3. So, d s p sorry this is not 3 we have to take it as 2. So, because this is a tetrahedral geometry and tetrahedral there is sorry this is coordination number is 4. So, we get 2 geometry one is sp 3 and another is d s p 2. So, if you see in the option option number 1 is the d s p 2 hybridization and this is the correct answer of your question number 115. So, question number 116 is on your screen. So, what is the mass of the precipitated form? when 50 ml of 16.9 percent solution of your silver nitrate is mixed with your 50 ml of your 5.8 percent of NaCl solution. So, now we are moving to the solution part. So, if you see here first we have to understand what is 16.9 point sorry 16.9 percent and 5.8 percent. Now, the 16.9 percent is nothing but that is 16.9 gram of your silver nitrate present in 100 ml of your solution. But in question they ask you the for 50 ml. So, for 50 ml it will be half. 
So, what will be there? It will be there 8.45 gram of silver nitrate. Now, for 5.8 percent means 5.8 gram of NaCl it will be present in 100 ml of your solution. Now, for 50 ml solution it will be coming as 2.9 gram. Okay. So, for silver nitrate it will be end up with 8.45 and for NaCl it will be end up with 2.9 gram. Now, when your silver nitrate it will be react with NaCl it will give you silver chloride and your sodium nitrate. Okay. Now, how much silver gram silver nitrate is there 8.45 gram and 2.9. So, first we have to find out the moles of AZNO3 that is silver nitrate and silver nitrate it will be end up with 8.45 divided by 170 and for NaCl it will be end up with 2.9 plus N A it is given as 23 and 35.5 it means 0 0.5 0 0.8 58.5 and when you are solving this part your answer is approximately come as 0 0.049 and for NaCl also it will be end up with 0 0.049. It means initial concentration if it will be 0 0.049 mole and 0 0.049 mole of NaCl. So, here it will be as 0, but in case of final it will be 0 for sil silver nitrate and for NaCl and for silver chloride it will be 0 0.049 mole and for sodium nitrate it will be 0 0.0. 4, 9. So, this AZCL is nothing but it will be go undergone precipitation. Now, they ask you what is the mass of your precipitate means we have to find out the mass. Okay. So, I am going to rub this part. So, for AZCL mass we have to calculate moles into its molecular weight. So, what is the mole it will be end up with 0 0.049 and for AZCL molecular weight for AZ how much it will be 107.8 and it will be 35.5 and if you do this part it will be 13. Um, 3. 143.3 and when you are solving this part your answer is approximately come as your 7 gram. Just do the multiplication here. Now, if you see among your 4 options option number 3 which is given as 7 gram and this is the correct answer of your question number 116. So, we have talked in the chapter breathing and exchange of gases the disorders which are taking place because of the respiratory systems. So, which among them is the correct answer? So, the correct option is option number 1 that is emphysema. So, this is the correct answer for this question. <laughs>